Boom. We are back with the uh, podcast. We're live, which is obviously a video, not a podcast, uh, but it is being yeah, recorded as well. Because as well, I think something that we did back, um, it's got to be, what, 18 months ago now, I think our last podcast episode. Yeah. People well, used to like the, listening to us, funny enough, somehow, um, droning on about about stuff, fitness, life, yeah, health, everything. So, um, cameras on live. How are you, Cam? You good, bud? Been a long time. Hope you're well, mate. Hope things are going all good in the uh, jersey. We, um, yeah, so we're going to bring it back a bit of podcasting. Let's say you've got a little bit more live stuff coming on from us, and uh, you get a bit of Alex on a Wednesday, if you're a member in the group, Q&As that go live. Um, and say so what we're going to do is start to go through a few, few things. Uh, and earlier, if you've read our blog, it was about productivity. So we're just going to bang straight into that, because um, I've actually got a client in about well, less than well, about half an hour, and me and Rob were talking about getting things done rather than taking action rather than just sort of sitting back and going, oh, yeah, well, we'll do that, this, that, and the other. And the reality is we get more done when you plan it out massively. Yeah, um, and too many people were just sort of plodding along. You know, it's Monday, and it should be a day where you kind of go, right, let's grab it, let's go again, let's start fresh, full of energy. You know, people tell me they tail off at the end of the week, oh, yeah, weekend's coming, I'm tailing off. And then I get on the flip side, like Monday, oh, it's hard to get into it, isn't it? And it's like, well, it's that Sunday dread going back to work. Oh, yeah. You've you said about it before. Yeah, it's, I, sometimes um, I used to get it from having to drive back when I was in the Marines, you had to drive back to camp. If you had a weekend at home, you get let loose on the Friday, spend a day at home pretty much, then you have to drive back and you get that Sunday dread of like, oh, back down, you know, five hour drive back to camp, you've got a hard weekend or whatever it is, then you get that sort of butterflies, but you like, oh. I can imagine, and I, and actually, I, I I know people because they say it to me that yeah. they hate Mondays. They hate the week ahead and they just live for the weekend. And like, oh, they do four to. days. Again, it goes in line with diet. So four days of being on, on it and then yeah, go crazy. And I then think the hard thing is around. if you're not necessarily like in love with what you do on a Monday, it's tough, right? It's very tough. And I, I, I think, I know I'm not saying that, you know, it's not tough in other things. And when you've got other things going on, it, it's hard craft. But then we often say gets that weekend and then just absolutely trash ourselves sometimes, some people maybe. Um, and you just wake up and you're like, oh, disaster. I've ruined my diet. I feel horrible. You eat crap, let's be honest. And then it's like, oh, Monday rolls around and oh, that it house, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's probably tough. But I mean, the reason we're talking about it is because it's, there, there are ways around it. Like, there are things, and you don't have to beat yourself up about it. Um, if you get things in place and in plan, then I guess the, you know you can make life a lot easier. And plus, as I say, so if anyone's read my um, productivity blog earlier, it's about the fact that if you give yourself a time for a task, okay, Parkinson's uh, theory, like law. So if, if I've got to do this podcast, for instance, if I give myself two hours, all right, I'm like, right, I'm going to write a little bit about what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, take the time to do it. I'll fill that two hours with the same productivity and probably get the same out of it as if I just go right click go bang and, and we hit it yeah. you know and it's 20 minutes and it's actually got the same outcome and that time people are like I haven't got enough time to do A, B and C and we kind of all feel that way we kind of feel like there's not enough time to do everything that we need to do in a day but the reality is we sometimes overcompensate for the time it takes to do a task mm. and then you just plod along and you don't get anywhere it's like oh, i can't but I'm not, I'm not i'm not food prepping for instance because i'm talking to you about nutrition food because that's what i do boy but it's like well actually if you just give yourself 30 minutes and smash out as much as you can right take six 30 minutes cook six chicken breasts whilst you're doing that you just do all that get that 30 minutes to it and hang about i've got five six meals ready like that's kill that kills you so much time during the week you gain yourself all the time i think people will let us know if you do, if you're the same, but they'll probably think that that, the 20% effort into putting into, you know, preparing five meals for the week versus not doing it isn't worth the outcome. Does that make sense? The reward? Yeah, but it, we know it is because if you do, even just that 20% of effort goes into prepping and planning and, and being productive early on, it'll save stress and time, but because we live in the now, I suppose, we're like, well, it's too much effort right now. I'll just, I'll just, I'll leave it. I'll just get food on the go. Yeah, but we know yeah. that, that and going back to it, productivity, being planning ahead, and, and that is is how you build small habits. So that twenty percent might then push on to like, right, what else can I plan and prep? That comes forty percent of your week. Obviously, you're not going to plan and, and block out hundred percent of your week and, and be struck, uh, stuck to a, a particular structure. You need some sort of variance in there, some free time, downtime to enjoy. Well, right, isn't it? And things, if you do it, crop it's, up. it's like Randall, but if not, and then just but, bored and then you get 80, 20, 70, 30, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so 80, 20 rule is good. Yeah, I'm about 60, 40 at the moment. I'm having a bit of a, I'm a, bit of a backwards... As long as you're uh, only 50. So. <laughs> 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 well, I think I've, I've, to be honest, I think I've gone backwards with the whole 
I've got my uh, my lovely stag do, which when people are like, oh, yeah, but you're, you're getting on it ready for going abroad. I had a complete stinker. I am honestly having a, a howl every when it comes to the weekends. I've been so much more sociable, and it's actually another thing I've written about, but I'm actually enjoying myself, and it's, it's about going, right, well, how do you manage that around those? But it, it takes planning to be able to do it and go, actually, I feel all right. I mean, you need to get a little bit, you know, oh, this is not ideal, being like, you know, whatever. But you do, you start to enjoy it, uh, and you can enjoy yourself, but it's that planning and being disciplined that gives you freedom. And I think people get so confused. I think if I'm being disciplined, that it's restrictive, but it's not. So it gives you so much more freedom and more productive. And I, you know, I can go out and I can go, right, you know what, this next weekend, I've got good stuff going on again, but I'm going to smash through this week. Actually, it makes me want to work harder during the week and get stuff done. And then I can sort of, you know, if I need to... You can't go say, like, yeah, one to two good diets a year. Like for most people, you can't be on it the whole time. You've got to have some downtime. You've got to enjoy, to reap the rewards of, being I think to do it just before holiday and I've gone on the reverse. You've got to reverse, do it before you go away and then come <laughs> back and you're like, feel bad and then you probably, no. But again, it's, it's about enjoying the time when you are away, right? And not be, feeling like you're, you're too restricted. So in terms of planning stuff, I'll, be, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek as such. I'm in front of the camera. I know I'm in front of the camera, but um, for the podcast, you're actually not going to be able to see this. You're going to have to, 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 to imagine it, I guess. But um, we, we create a lot of stuff for our members and, and it's, not necessarily digital stuff or videos like this, but physical printed out things because people like a tangible things to hold and write on. And that's that's a big part of it is planning. And this is just a, like a template, so a weekly meal planner, which looks simple and you can probably download basic ones online. But the way we work our sort of block structure or uh, units of meals that we, we, we help people put into their week helps them set up their own week knowing what they're going to have in advance. And even if this is only filled out, half the boxes, 80% of the boxes. The fact is they're going to be 80% of there rather than none of the way there. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but a lot of what we do is simple. It has to be so simple. We're just recreating our whole nutritional teach to the most simplest we could ever probably put it. And we will change it again, no doubt, in time because it's all about learning and putting things into action that we take into our own accounts and stuff like that. But the reality is, so you, you put these things and keep it as simple as possible. And it's like the cooking thing, you go back to that. Like, I mean, even recipes and stuff, like people over quite like if you're Five somebody, yeah, if somebody super, like if you're just not a, a chef, right? Go, right, okay. If you're kind of really key to get a result, then you've got to go, right, well, what do I need? What fuel do I need? Well, yeah, you know you need some veggies and greens. It's going to be key. So just make up some stuff that you like, right? Or chop up a load of stuff that you can put into salads. You know you're going to need at least some amount of sort of protein that's going to keep you full for longer, support your training, you know. So you cook up the proteins you like and just do it in batch. Yeah. And hopefully you just put stuff that kind of goes together. And do you know what? If you yeah. like rice, have rice. If you like new potatoes, have new potatoes. If you like noodles, get noodles. It's like it doesn't have to be crazy. Like, and I think that people think it has to be this like – certain mixture of like foods together that creates this unbelievable the, the sort of thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it's like exercise. Well, if you have that with that, with that creates like this massive fat explosion. You lose loads of like fat in your body. But it's, you know, you know, we know it's not true, but and it, we're always like, oh, I've got to do this and these herbs. And it's just like, I literally will sometimes pick up on those, well, those shorts or and just do that all over a load of chicken, chuck it in the oven. That's my meal. Some of the best meals have so been out of here, things that are left over in the freezer in the fridge. And you've got to make a meal out of them and, and you get all sorts of spices. You do that, and you do that, then you're like a day or two before. Surprise, yeah, surprise, Christy, sometimes. She's like, this is really good. Like, yeah, like, thanks. I yeah, kind of know what to do right now. I've done, it, I've done it a few times, but um, it works. And it's things that you've ne- not necessarily, it's not like a recipe, it's not something you'd probably serve to guests. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. it's food, food for fuel, yeah. fuel for food, whatever you want to say. Rather than, uh, you know, flavour and functional work tastes good. It's not something that's well, quite yeah, pretty want, and it's You not- want your food to taste good. I mean, I, I'll go back to what I said this before, but when I thought there was some sort of magic in, you know, oh, crikey, anyway, you look back and you learn from these things. And I sat there with a, a bowl of cottage cheese and white fish. I mean, like, that is, that is not ideal. You that is not ideal of an evening. It's just, just yeah. like, I was like, but I, I felt I had to have that because I thought there was almost like, you know, I was about feeding into certain it. sort of protein sources, where it's coming from, and I was like, don't get me wrong, I'm going to, you know, half decent nick by, by sticking to my plan, there was a plan there, but by not being prepared and having whatever, I was like, right, I'm gonna have cottage cheese and white fish. Wow, that is, I mean, I don't know if I'd- Chances are, you probably, yeah. if you had you know, Greek yogurt and chicken breast, it probably wouldn't have made, made much difference if the macros are the same. No. But because it, you were Possibly told that... Taste great, either, though, it? Yeah, no, <laughs> not necessarily any, any better. But um, I think the biggest downfall, though, that people have is 
They either don't believe that the little things will make a big difference. Well, as you talk well, about that compound effect, that's yeah, those little well, bits that builds and builds and builds. So the productivity goes right down because uh, well, I don't see the value in doing the little things because I don't see instant changes. And we have what, one click ordering, food on demand, videos like that, you know, just straight. Yeah. Everyone, you want it now, but it doesn't work that way with the human body, unfortunately. It does take time. And that means putting the effort, unfortunately. And it means doing the things that don't really give you a, a yield or gain straight away, but just consistency is king. Well, you said it before, is that uh, plan, planning. You are wrong, though, because I did see on Facebook yesterday that there's a patch now. Uh, and you just you just wear the patch. And this is the, uh, the new. You lose fat from wearing a patch. Science behind it is. Wear a patch no, and lose weight. It's, yeah. Well, I don't think there has to be science anymore, though. Oh, no, so I know what happens. Somebody is, is looks a patch. good. Yeah, they, they, they've they obviously got in shape with that, but they, yeah. they've also probably got a, like a meal plan with that patch. Is it? So you put the patch on and you have to drink three litres of water. Not eat for two weeks. Skip breakfast, skip lunch, have like a little leafy meal, and then, yeah. funny enough... The patch works, it doesn't sink. loses weight for you. I was going to say this the other day, so, so someone said to me, that, someone said to me, oh, why, because I was talking about lemon water in the morning, and that's actually something that's... Ryan's just the problem, yeah, actually. The, the, yeah, yeah, tonic in the morning, cool. actually, Ryan Martin, yeah. Provide Bonjour. yourself, um, see your posts uh, about your tonic in the morning, actually doing similar things. So, uh, yeah, filtered water, fresh lemon, and, and a bit of Himalayan, crystal, yeah. pink salt. No, I mean, we don't do as much as the depth of Ryan. Ryan's yeah. legend with it. I mean, he's got so much knowledge. The guy, a huge shout out to Revive. Um, wow. I mean, that guy is just, you know, different level when it comes to health and fitness. Ryan Martin. We've got to get him talking you, to our members at some point. We do. Uh, the guy's a hero. We'll be meeting him soon. Uh, and we will get in touch. But, on the flip side, as soon as I've mentioned I was doing this, I was like, oh, is that how you lose, is that how you get lean, or lose weight? It's like, oh, well, no, I've replaced nearly 900 calories worth of breakfast for this. Uh, that's possibly what's going to help me reduce in terms of just from a weight side of things. And, you know, I, it, it, and it's, it's like, but the difference is, yeah, I'm exercising, I'm doing this, this, and this, and I've reduced my calories. It wasn't because I, you know, squeezed uh, an organic lemon in some, you know, water. That, that's great for me for other things. But in terms of weight loss, that's not what, you know, it wasn't because I added that in. If I'd carry on eating my porridge and then added in this tonic, it wasn't going to make me lose the weight, right? You know, it was because, well, might, it like because you've just filled yourself up with some liquid. You probably eat a little less. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But if I said if I eat exactly the same doing things, with doing that, yeah. you know, it wasn't going to make me burn loads of calories because I chucked some lemon into me. No. You know, and that's what people are looking at. They're looking at these tablets, patches, and all this crap. And they're going, well, if I add this, which is why you can. But the things you've actually eliminated a load of other stuff by doing it. So it's just let, look, let's look at the bigger picture, not what I've added in, but what you actually removed, you know, because there's a good chance you've probably taken out a load of other stuff because, well, well, I mean, I find it's the patch is probably, obviously, the new thing, right? It's the, possibly, the, um, it's probably really scientific. But also, it probably sucks the fat out of you, so you get this really fat patch, like a huge, well, I mean, yeah, well, yeah, that's probably absorbent. better than what yeah. I was going to say, yeah. but you stick it on, it's like that big, and then it just fills up with fat. You just slap people with that would be scientific, really, because that would be some sort of process of yeah, withdrawing fat from the it's body. It's like osmosis from uh, but not for water. No, yeah, but it well, might not. suck on water. Right, right, thank you, boys. Always great listening to you. Right, mate. Obviously, it's nothing. We, 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 we wouldn't be off. Anything, we didn't believe it. Uh, anything Jeremy. as scientific as you, you do with your guests, to be honest. So if anyone is doesn't follow Ryan's podcast, he has some great guests on there. So yeah, just check right, out Ryan. Chuck in your comment as well. If there's a link, yeah, you pop it on there. Listen, we're not going to tell you to go and listen to people that we don't believe you should listen to and things that isn't informative. You know, we, we like once again, we do things simple, okay? I think it's possibly coming from me being potentially quite simple myself, but we do things simple because at the end of the day, that's what, you know, a lot of people want to hear. They just want to hear it clear and simple. There are huge amounts of other things we can look into. We often talk about, obviously, um, aesthetics weight loss and stuff like that, but when you talk about health, it's a huge, it's a, it's a different thing. It is a different thing. You know, we know people can lose weight, and be very unhealthy. You know, when we're talking health, I mean, we sat and listened to Ryan, and, and you know, the guy, you know, he's got so much knowledge, and, and I and I love that. And yes, you will massively potentially lose weight and stuff like that. You know, but that's done work with Ryan, and, and you know, uh, you couldn't listen to me because I was too close to home. And that's another thing, right? Listen to people you believe in, trust in, or if you know someone that has you know worked with somebody, it's like TripAdvisor, and they, if you saw five of your mates talk about 
a, a restaurant or whatever, yeah, yeah, and they'll big it up, then you've got to trust them because yeah. you know them people. And, and that's what we're saying. Like, we will put people out there and push on that direction because we trust them. Like, that tra- like he never, he's never even met Ryan, uh, you know, this, and I was like, right, go, go and listen to this guy because he trusts me. Obviously, he knows that like, I, I study and do whatever I do. Uh, and it, it makes it all worth it sort of thing, and that's what it's about. So, um, yeah, I suppose we go back but, to... Uh, well, there's, uh, there's a link on from that, though. You'll have people who around you who, who think they you know, they, they, they want the best for you, so they'll look out for you, they'll, yeah, they'll be like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, should, is, should you be doing that? Is that healthy? Through, like, you know, through love and friendship yeah. and things, they'll say, you know, because they have fears in their own, abilities of doing it or they don't believe in it or whatever but you've got to kind of do your own research stand on your own two feet and and make choices not be lured in by these social media marketing gurus who can tell you that you slip yeah put a patch on and lose weight and that's it's, how it, it's, it's hard, hard though, it? because spin nowadays like, like like this right now this is a visual thing as well as an audio thing as well as anything and, and it not be funny but if i was if we were people to be sat here and they were like ripped up tops off like you know, people yeah. will probably buy into them more and trust them more, which is outrageous, right? You've got possibly a, a 5% of, you know, the world now, because that, that's the reality of it. It's like, it's all it's the internet is the world. And they've got these people who are pretty genetically gifted. Yeah, they've taken it on and it it's kind of like, you know, they've worked to, to keep that and do that. Over long but, periods of time. But they yeah. don't necessarily go and research and read all these things. And then somebody comes on and goes, mate, I reckon you can make a killing that selling my patch. Yeah. All right, sweet. You've got two thousand, some two million people following you yeah. on Instagram, and uh, yeah, they, they start pushing it. And it's like, well, why? Oh, he's ripped, and it's hard because you, you want to believe it. It sounds great sticking on a patch, but if you're going to listen to somebody, start to do a little bit more in depth or, or look at it. Don't just go right. They look good. So I'm going to follow them. Don't look, um, at, don't look at the likes and the, the followers. Some ugly the... people are very knowledgeable. I think that's a fair comment. Is that? <laughs> People are beautiful in their own ways and ugly, otherwise it's all obviously a matter of opinion. Someone will shoot me down there like, you can't call people ugly. Well, you, Your eyes are bad anyway. You can probably who said see. that? <laughs> little, little gag. Little gag there. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's what, but I don't look at beauty. It's, it is beauty, mate, in the mind. Anyway, going off track again. So yeah. look, at, look at things. Go back, so we'll go back to productivity. Just finish up, wrap it up. And say, so we'll come in, we've chucked in some time. You might spend your time listening to people uh, and taking on board things and just taking a snippet from it. At the end of the day, you know, when we started out, we could only, as personal, sole trained personal trainers or whatever, we could only almost give an hour of our time to that person and trying to make them better, get them healthier, whatever it may be. And, and you do that, and you didn't, and we didn't have any real opportunities to try and, you know, share. But luckily, obviously, things like this, it's, what, 20 minutes, and hopefully you might take something from it, you know, and if we do it more regularly and you have a listen, you know, kill time, listen to that thing, it, you know, it might be beneficial. Um, I think going forwards, you know, we've obviously got to be careful with life, but we'll, we'll push the boundaries a little yeah. bit more, start to... A bit to, more, more you know, to certain things. So, again, if you're watching this back, um, chuck any questions in the comments, because we can then address those later in the week I mean they say look we've done this is a pretty naff time really in terms of getting numbers of people yeah. watching and stuff like that but they say Al's got his set thing within our uh, private groups and that but if it's something that we can do maybe potentially at other times maybe busier times go live get, get stuff going on it's, I think we've got to do it and we've got to keep it up and once again it's one of those things habits are great if you, you know you build them in you go from them and sometimes we do drop off sometimes we you know fall off the wagon as such. And that's kind of the same with all sorts of things. Mm-hmm. So be productive. If you do things that you know get you further in life and it's productive, stick with them, keep them going. If you fall back, you sometimes do have to do it. It's hard. Like, it's like, oh, should we do it? It's like getting going again, getting going. Just jump in and do it. It may not be planned. It may not be structured, but getting started is the key. And that's kind of, that's what we're doing, right? We're just chucking it out there. Just keep going. Just keep it going. Yeah. Right, we're going to jump out there. So uh, there's a comment there. You read it though. Oh, it's Brian, yep. So just saying, yep. See you in a few you know, well, Yeah, next perfect. Week, See you in a couple of weeks. Then, uh, and yeah. I'm sure we'll pick up some knowledge bits and drop some on there. Onto here. Some and let's say, check, check this stuff out for sure. Um, guys, Thanks for watching. If you are about, I love that. Um, and say, drop comments if you have been watching this at a different time. We will get back to you with stuff. Uh, and if you listen to the podcast, you, you can't see me waving at you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Cheers.